I am so glad you're joining me for another episode of your midweek move. Remember to subscribe to our email newsletter at femfusionfitness.com to always get instant access to our latest midweek move videos. So this week we're going to channel our inner Charlie's angels to really work the deep abdominals and the inner thigh muscles at the same time. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to come down onto your mat and roll down carefully. And in this position, you are going to engage your deep abdominals. So think about hollowing out your abdominals. Start by sealing off your pelvic floor muscles with a little kegel. So squeezing and lifting gently your pelvic floor and then pulling your abdominals in. So this is going to require a lot of hip flexion. So watch all the way till the end because we're, we're going to counteract all of that with a nice uh, bit of booty, booty work. So you're getting a two in one here. So, pull in those deep abdominals, lift one leg up toward the ceiling, and have your hands at your sides, and then the other leg as well. Then, you're going to bring your legs apart, so into a V. Now, they're going to stay like this pretty much the whole time, so if this ever gets uncomfortable, you can always bend your legs, and that just makes it, it, makes it a little bit easier, less leverage pulling down on your legs. So, legs apart or bent. Keep those abs pulled in, hollowed out, scooped out, your pelvic floor sealed off, so it's like you're zipping up from the bottom up, holding that, and we're going to start with just a reverse crunch. So think about pulling those, uh, lifting the hips up off the ground, and I always like to breathe out, try not to get your head and shoulders involved, try not to let them tense up, it should all be coming, the work should all be coming from down low. The area below your belly button, think about scooping that inward as you lift your hips up off the ground. And also breathe out. So breathe out. And let's just do one more. And then we'll pull in the Charlie's Angels. So let's make sure that we don't strain our neck. So don't let your head flop back. You want to keep your chin gently tucked. You're going to bring your hands up into the Charlie's Angels guns. And we are going to curl up as we curl our bottom up. We're going to curl our top up. So breathe out. Every time you shoot that gun through your legs, not a real gun, of course. <laughs> you want to breathe out as you crunch up. So it's like you're curling the lower body toward the upper body. And really think about that curling. To me, that really helps activate those deep abdominals. You want to, again, breathe out every time you crunch up. And let's go ahead and pulse it. So keeping the hips lifted like a centimeter off the ground. Oh my gosh, this is really hard to do and talk at the same time. But you're keeping the hips lifted just a tiny bit. See if you can lift it further. And then just pulsing that pointed fingers between your legs, and four, three, two, one. Now go off to the left and just hold it, keep going, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then off to the right, keep those shoulders lifted off the ground, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, back to the middle. Remember, you can bend your legs at any time, and you've got to keep that chin gently tucked and the tummy hollowed out, abs pulled in, and five more, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, put the head down, and let's end with just a few more of those full reverse curls. You want to again hollow out those abs, pull your tummy in, and breathe out every time you lift the legs up. So your inner thighs are, are really having to work to keep your legs apart. Did I say I was only doing 10 of these? I don't remember. Just keep going. So your inner thighs are really working. Your lower abs below your belly button are really working to lift the hips up off the ground and pull inward. Just a couple more. And okay, wow. So pull those knees in. So that was a lot of work for the inner thighs and the deep abdominals and the hip flexors. So now we need to reverse all of that hip flexion, the bent up legs. 
I like to do a little pencil stretch, so really stretching everything apart, pointing the toes, pointing the fingers, and now I want you to try tightening the bottom and pointing the toes and pressing down into the heels and just lifting that bottom off the ground, pressing down into the heels. You should feel the whole back side of the legs activated and the bottom, everything is really strong and active in the back side. And let it go. Roll out your foot. That might give you a little bit of a foot cramp. If that's the case, roll your feet out and take a deep breath. Be sure you're drinking plenty of water and getting your bananas, your potassium, your electrolytes. And let's flip onto our stomach for one final move, which is great for working the back side and extending the hip after all of that hip flexion. So there's a ton of things you could do. Um, hip extension, just leg lifts. You can do Superman, Superwoman, um, or you can do a plank. So I'm going to do a plank with leg lifts. So find that perfect plank position. You can be from your elbows or from your hands like I'm showing, or from your fists, whatever makes you happy. And in this position, find your perfect plank, really engage your bottom, pull in your tummy, and lift your leg. Hold it. And down, other side, hold it. And down, let's do two more on each side. Keep those abs strong. Keep breathing. Keep your pelvis level, your hips steady. The only thing moving should be the leg. Don't let your back sag or your bottom go up toward the ceiling. None of this and none of this. You want to be straight like a plank. All right, ah, sit back, take a deep breath, rounding it up, all right. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. So I hope you uh, enjoyed that midweek move, and again, it's a great one for working the deep abs and the inner thighs, and then getting that little bit of counter um, balance at the end, working in the hip extension is awesome. It's a great little butt blaster as well. So enjoy, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next week on your midweek move.